Hello, everybody. My name is Dr. Kayla Clark. Today, we are going to talk about candida. So how do you know if candida is something that is causing or contributing to your eczema, your topical steroid withdrawal, or any skin condition in general, like uh, psoriasis, acne, and more? Candida is closely related to all of these conditions and often co-occurs. Co and so in this presentation, we're going to go briefly over how to know if it might be affecting you and if you should do a detox and how you can do that safely. If you are new here, my name is Dr. Kayla Clark. I'm a naturopathic doctor and fellow skin warrior. I had eczema my entire life until I went through topical steroid withdrawal in 2016. It took my body eight months to clear it. And now as a naturopathic doctor, I am an extremely passionate about helping other skin warriors reclaim not only their skin health, but their health in general from a root cause holistic perspective. So today's presentation, YouTube video here, is a mini presentation of a larger masterclass that I did in Candida on Candida in my program, the Steroid Free Skin Academy. So today is a brief condensed version. You're still gonna learn a ton of information. And the idea here is there's a follow-up and for more information if you wanna dive deeper into the topic. So today's video, we're briefly gonna go over what Candida is, different types of candida and how you can maybe tell if you have it, who gets candida, who it affects, could it be the cause of your skin condition and how it might be contributing, and then how do you actually test, how do you find out if you have candida, and then what do you do about it, do you detox it, do you leave it, and also when do you do that, perhaps if you've ever tried to go on a detox or do a cleanse of some sort when you have a skin issue, um, it may or may not go as according to plan. You know, sometimes it helps and sometimes it makes things way worse. And this has to do if your de to do with if your detox pathways are open and if your body is ready to get rid of these things. But we will also talk about that later. So first of all, <clears throat> let's dive into what candida actually is. Candida is a type of yeast, which is a type of fungus. And it is actually completely normal in the body. Our bodies grow candida. It's part of our normal flora. And when I say that, uh, I mean the microbiome. So the microbiome is the plethora of bacteria, fungi, yeasts, and um, things that live in our bodies, mostly in our gut, but also in other places like our mouths, um, our vaginal canals, et cetera, et cetera. So candida is normal in the body. However, the issue is when it overgrows. So there's something called dysbiosis, which is what happens when the body overgrows um, in the wrong kind of way. So the, the bad bacteria, the, the, um, the bacteria that make you sick outweigh the good bacteria that help your body stay in balance. Now, the reasons why this happens is a number of things. One of the more common ones is antibiotic use uh, combined with diet and stress. So perhaps you've been on an antibiotic before and you've gotten some sort of stomach upset. You maybe had diarrhea or maybe if you're a female, you've gotten a yeast infection. And this has to, this happens because our when we're on an antibiotic, our, our microbiome is being wiped out, both the bad, the bacteria we're trying to kill, but also the good. And so what happens after this means we kind of have a blank slate. And if we're not living in the most optimal way, which many of us aren't, by that I mean we have a high stress life or we're not eating the best foods or we eat a, a high sugar diet or um, you know, we're exposed to mold and toxins and things like that. This can allow those dysbiotic organisms to overgrow. Now, one of the most common ones in our modern world is candida. Right, so candida thrives off sugar, as we know, and so this causes it to overgrow often. Now, what does that actually look like in the human body? There are a few different levels and layers how candida can show up. Um, not going to go too deep into this in this presentation, but know that you can access the suit the masterclass series later to dive deeper into this. But basically, if you have candida or you have an overgrowth of candida, it can manifest physically a few different ways. Cutaneously, meaning on the skin, which is kind of what, somewhat what we're talking about here. Muc mucocutaneously, 
which uh, is a little bit deeper into the body. So this manifests in, in spaces like the mouth, like oral thrush, or in the vaginal canal, like a vaginal yeast infection. These would both be mucocutaneous disorders. Or systemic candida, which uh, if you look on Google, they will talk to you about systemic candida being mostly reserved for HIV patients or people who have really uh, deficient immune systems. And yes, in that aspect, it is true. However, I'm also going to highlight here uh, sort of a secondary level of candida invasion, and that being a mucocutaneous invasion of the gut. And uh, so this is what we in the functional medicine world might have heard about when we hear about candida. So you might see things like eczema pop up, brain fog, joint pain, dry skin, um, more susceptibility to colds and flus, issues with detox, more chemical sensitivities, et cetera, et cetera. And this actually stems from the microbiome itself and the gut bacteria itself potentially causing a, causing a toxic symptoms in the body and be affecting how your nervous system functions, which the microbiome absolutely does. Okay, so there are a few different layers of candida uh, affecting your body. It could be on the skin, it could be in the gut and manifesting on the skin or in the body. Or if it's really serious, it could be um, you know more serious, but we won't talk too much about that. So how do you know if you have it? How do you know what form it is or how deep it is? Basically, uh, you're going to have to learn more about the nuances of how it actually manifests and shows up in the body. Again, you can learn more about that in the Candida Masterclass series. After this, I will link it in the show notes below. But basically, how it can manifest in the skin is a few different ways. It can show up like eczema. It can show up in the skin folds, on the scalp. Um, and knowing sort of these nuances can help us figure it out. We can also use a microscope or certain tools like a woods lamp to help us diagnose it. This is usually done in a Western medical clinic um, or any medical clinic in person. Um, most of our clues are actually gonna come from our history and our diet and your lifestyle analysis. So this is really key and really helpful when you're working with someone like a naturopathic doctor or a functional medicine doctor or someone who gets really in depth about your lifestyle, your diet, your stress, your um, all of those things that I was talking about before that can affect those underlying issues like your microbiome and your susceptibility to candida overgrowth. Now, this is where in my practice, I judge and start to put the pieces together about people's stories and think that and start to figure out if candida might be an issue for them. So me being trained in this, I have little clues that I will look for. And in the masterclass series, I will teach you what those are so you can kind of figure it out yourself. If you should go further and perhaps work with someone to help you detox candida or if potentially, if not, maybe something you need to worry about or should worry about at the moment, which I will talk about um, in a second here. So physical exam is important. And then you can also use lab work. So functional lab work is, are things that you can use. Again, in the masterclass, I will go into these in more detail, what actually functional labs you could look for or ask for and what they're doing. Again, it will be imperative that you know which ones you are doing and they're, that are pertinent for you and your body. Because there is not very many tests that test specifically for candida presence. They're sort of indirect uh, test. So for example, they're testing the antibodies for candida in your body. So is your immune system currently reacting to it? Or we will test the stool and test how different um, things are being broken down and the different things that are showing up in your body, different enzymes, starches, breakdown products, et cetera, et cetera. So choosing a test to, to um, figure out if you have candida in the first place will also matter. Again, check out the Masterclass series for more info on that. So what causes candida? Again, I briefly touched on that. Mostly our lifestyle nowadays. There are many things that contribute to why a person might overgrow uh, candida. And here are some of the downstream effects from that that might occur with candida, or that can be, I guess, one level up causing that overgrowth. So an atopic immune system um, could could be could stem from a candida overgrowth atopic 
uh, conditions, of course, being eczema, asthma, and allergies, the atopic triad. I'm, well, I have two of those, knock on wood. Maybe you have some as well, like you. Uh, you might also get a dysbiotic microbiome stemming from candida overgrowth, which again can lead to a bunch of downstream things like eczema, joint pain, fatigue, irritability, et cetera, et cetera. Could also lead to a dysregulated nervous system and that being anxiety, stress, weight gain, insomnia, low libido, et cetera, et cetera there. Unbalanced hormones, basically all of the above what I just said and clogged up detox pathways which is where we're going to talk about next because remembering here that small amounts of candida in the body is normal it is when they overgrow that we get a problem so is candida causing your skin issues um, again i dive into this a lot more in the master class you can hear me riff on it there but here i will say it's maybe not causing it but it is definitely contributing it and probably tied up in it I would say 99.99999% of us have candida issues, especially in the modern world. And this can manifest in very different ways for many of us. So I don't often see, and I will say this, I don't often see ca clearing candida being the like be all and end all cure for any of these issues, especially when it comes to something like topical steroid withdrawal. More so it's really helpful in things like acne, candy, um, acne, eczema, et cetera, psoriasis. However, I do find clearing it important to healing. So I don't find, I'll say that again, maybe in a more concise way. I, I don't find candida being the sole cause of many skin conditions, but I do find clearing it to be imperative to healing, if that makes sense. So most of us have it, whether we have a, you know, a conditional a skin eczema TSW issue or not, it's just manifesting for us in that way. So how do you actually get rid of it once you have it? Again, hopefully you're going to join the masterclass and dive deeper a little bit into figuring out if you have it. And then in there also, we are going to talk about how to actually detox it, what to do and how to do it safely. So again, I touched earlier um, on maybe you've done a detox like I did when I started going through TSW. One of the first things that I did was uh do a detox, do an elimination diet, take all these herbs, flush my liver. And it seems somewhat natural. However, my body was in no shape to be doing that, right? First of all, because it was going through this massive inflammatory rebound reaction. And secondly, because my foundational health just wasn't really at a place where it was ready to process that kind of stuff. So when I started pushing my body to detox, everything hit the fan and it got way worse. And maybe you've experienced this. And so when we work with people who have skin issues, most of us don't have functioning detox pathways. This is why maybe we have skin issues in the first place. So before we even consider doing a detox, we need to prepare the body to be able to clear that stuff out. So there are a number of ways that I will do that, a number of steps to, and things you can do in a very systematic order to open the drainage pathways, break up the biofilms, and then activate the actual detox pathways, kill the bacteria off, and um, heal the gut after and rebalance the microbiome. So the whole process does take anywhere from six to eight months, but depending more, if you really want to do it properly. Now, a lot of modern cleanses will sort of skip the prepare the body part and go straight to the active detox part, which is what I sort of described before when we started pushing the body when it didn't really have any business being pushed. And us as highly sensitive atopic people, which I assume you are if you're watching this, at least at some point, probably don't have functioning detox pathways. So how do you open them? Check out the masterclass. That is a whole different uh, masterclass series on its own, but I do talk about how to open all of these pathways. This is a quick slide here, just about our organs of elimination. And so this is our whole detox system. Our liver obviously is a, the, one of the ones we think of first when we think about detox and also our bowels. Are you pooping? And are you first converting them? 
So think about it. Like if you're not getting this stuff out of your body, these toxins out of your body, you now have a bunch of dead microorganisms that, that have dumped toxins that are floating in your body and not able to come out. So that's why opening all of these pathways is really going to be important. Diet, um, of course, candida, anti-candida diet is super important. We are what we eat and because most of it overgrows in the gut, our gut is where it is going to, where uh, I guess ground zero is. So it's important mostly to, to avoid sugar, to keep it very simple, avoiding the processed sugars uh, and carbs and things like that. Now, some of the nuances like, can I eat fruits? Or what foods can I eat to help clear and support the liver? Again, check out the masterclass. We talk all about that. What kind of food you can eat. We talk about different supplements that you can take to help support your body um, and your detox pathways through candida. So how do you join the masterclass? How do you get access to this thing that I have been talking to you about First of all, what does it include? So the Candida Series Masterclass includes two lecture recordings, one with me over an hour uh, and a bit long of packed full of information just like this, but diving much deeper into some of these topics. I give you all the protocols and the layouts of how to actually do a detox properly, um, how to know if you have Candida, what are some of the signs, and we go into all of that in much more detail so you can feel confident in understanding whether it's something you want to look into more. We also have a lecture by Sarah Simpson, our health coach, and she breaks down the candida diet going into um, the nuances of that. You will also get a two-week anti-candida meal plan complete with all recipes, and you'll have access to all of these. this information broken down into easy-to-understand modules. So, Again, how do you access that? There are two ways to do it. You can either buy access to the Masterclass for Life, just like a good old fashioned program for $59, or you can join the Steroid Free Skin Academy. Again, that is where the original container for this presentation happened. This is a container, a monthly membership community for all people going through eczema, topical steroid withdrawal, or anyone who's looking to decrease their dependency on steroids. And what this is, is a no more gatekeeping, affordable, accessible option to help you understand your own skin and life. So with membership, which is $30 a month, you right now, currently, as of uh, October, 2023, you will get access to all of the live masterclasses that are run, inclu including this one here, um, things like this. You will get access to weekly group coaching with either myself or Sarah. This is a chance for you to ask any questions you might have, connect with other warriors and people who are going through the same thing you are. Um, you'll have access to a moderated group chat and you will be able to get into the Steroid Free Skin Library, Academy Library, which has all of these recordings of this Candida and Skin Masterclass as well as some of the other ones we have done in there, like detox, like how to do a gut healing protocol, like understanding the basics of skin, and also stop the scratch, which is how to reprogram your mindset and your um, subconscious to stop scratching and heal your skin in general. So you will get all of that, including access to this masterclass for $30 a month inside the Steroid Free Skin Academy. I hope to see you there. And if you enjoyed this and you want more content about your skin, about health, please give us a follow, leave a comment, and hope to see you around, friends.